At this point, I want to take just a moment to talk about a special kind of data frame known as a tibble. Tibbles have all of the characteristics of regular data frames, but they have some special features. For one thing, there are some uh, fewer restrictions about how they're structured. They're sort of, uh, you could think of it as an upgrade for traditional data frames. They're a key component of what's known as the tidyverse. The tidyverse is a paradigm in R that was developed by Hadley Wickham. He's a rather famous R developer and one of the developers of R Studio. So tidyverse is actually a collection of related R packages that are commonly used in data science and tibbles play an important role in the tidyverse collection of packages. So there's a few ways that tibbles are different. One thing is that the rules for column names are relaxed a bit. In normal data frames, you can't have spaces in column names, but in tibbles you can. And there's a special way of dealing with, uh, with them if they have characters that are not allowed in normal data frames. The other thing is that uh, when you import data into a regular data frame, any column that has character values in it are automatically converted into factors. We will not be going into factors in this series of lessons, but they're important for experimental analysis. Um, and in the future lessons about statistical analysis, we'll talk about them quite a bit. But in many circumstances, we don't really care about factors. And so um, having this automatic behavior is a bit of a nuisance and Tibbles gets around it by not uh, doing that conversion automatically. Also, when you uh, print a Tibble, uh, viewing the information about it, there is some more information than is available for normal data frames. So that's kind of nice. But in many cases, it doesn't really matter whether your table is just a generic data frame or a tibble. And there are a few cases where that is important. And when that matters, uh, we will make the distinction between the two.